The brain is a survival organ, and it's the strongest brains that survive, not the strongest bodies. Our ability to solve problems, learn from mistakes, create alliances with other people, all these things help us survive. And that is what negotiation is all about. Eric Henry is a negotiation expert with CM Partners based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I asked him to talk about the basics of negotiation and how the developments in neuroscience relate to his field. One of the um, classic sort of paradigms of negotiation is, you know, as human beings began to form relationship, is I want you to do something, um, and I'm asking you to do it because we're friends or we have a relationship, and I'd really like you to do something that I want, perhaps that you don't want. I want a concession, in essence, and, and by the way, if you don't do that, um, I'm either going to wreak some harm on you or I'm going to walk away from you. So it's almost that what we call the classic iron triangle. In the spirit of our relationship, I'm asking you to do something for me. And if you don't do it, uh, I'm either going to force you to do it or, or walk away from you. And uh, if you think about uh, human interaction, that has been going on as long as human beings have been walking the planet. Some people think of negotiation as just those big across the table decisions, we're in fact negotiating uh, pretty much from the moment we wake up in the morning to when we go to sleep at night. We're trying to influence people to do things. Well, that all begins with understanding why people make decisions, why they do what they do at some sort of a brain or chemical level. I think it's very exciting over the next five to ten years to think about how we can take the new learning in brain science and begin to integrate that into what has been uh, always considered a soft skill, a non-science uh, skill set. Uh, so I think it's, a, it's an area of very fertile discovery.